Namelab. Talking Science. Uh, thank you very much for another chance. Um, this is the main source of uh, the chemicals which I was talking about in my previous talk. Um, when we, like it's fire, fire, and when we spray fire there, so I think like we write on tobacco packets that smoking in, in, is injurious to health, we should write here, save today, die tomorrow. <laughs> and <laughs> I, will, I will put it now because it's quite heavy or I'm weak. Anyways, um, well, now I'm going to tell you some chemistry of my chemicals uh, through my hand. So it's just an example, don't stop shaking head with me. Uh, my chemicals are like this. This is the tail of my chemical and it has carbon and fullerene. And in chemistry, whenever you have some structure with carbon and fullerene, then it means it is almost impossible to destroy it or break it. And then it has a head. Now this tail, it is oil proof, heat proof, chemical proof, waterproof. But the question is, my chemicals are very high in uh, concentrations in water. Why? Because of this head. This head loves to go in water. So this head drags this tail into water. And when my chemicals goes into water, water is the thing which we use daily. We cannot avoid it. Even if we eat fish, the fish is surviving in that water which has that chemical. So either we eat fish or we drink water directly, we get that chemical into us. One of my friends asked me that how I can save myself from this chemical because it's all around us. I said that get naked, go into jungle, and start dieting. <laughs> and then uh, in, the, in the end, I would uh, tell you that because water is the main source. So in Leipzig, there has been unfortunately no big study that what are the levels of this chemical in this part of the world. So my first task will be to see what are the levels. So if the levels are not in a safe limit, we can quickly propose some suggestions to make some measures. And then secondly, I will try to find out the chemistry of these chemicals, because when we know the chemistry of these chemicals, we know the ways to deal with these chemicals and to save the environment from these chemicals. Unfortunately, we are, we are moving towards another disaster like ozone hole because this chemical is all around the world and we have no idea how to destroy it and it will remain there for hundreds of years and particularly it is really bad for our coming generations and I will hope that my research will be able to save the future of our coming generations. I'm really worried about your kids, my hopefully kids and because I still don't know how to produce them. Uh, and <laughs> I don't have any source to produce them. <laughs> and and um, now I am even more worried because this is even dangerous for reproductive system, this chemical. So I'm even doubtful if I will be able to have kids. Thank you. Thank you, Uma.